Next word. I told you I only had a couple words. Next word. Islam. What does Islam mean? Well, you could ask a Muslim, or you could ask some people in the media, or a politician, or a preacher. Let's go ask a preacher. Mr. Preacher, what does Islam mean? Islam means terrorism, boy. Get away from them guys. Whatever you do, don't read that book. That's exactly what my friend told me. He used to carry a big cross down the street, down the town. Yeah, that's what he told me. I'm not joking. He told me. Stay away from them boys. They're a bunch of Turks. Hijackers, kidnappers, and they don't believe in God. They worship a black box in the desert, kiss ground five times. That's son. <laughs> Anyhow. The word Islam, the word Islam actually doesn't have a translation. That's why if you look through the Quran, you never see this word translated. All the other words they'll try to translate. Like I said, Allah, they say God. The reason they can't translate it is because it would give away the whole secret. This is one of the best kept secrets on the planet today. What is Islam? Now let's ask the Muslim, what is Islam? Islam is peace, brother. We love everybody. We're tolerant. No problem. <laughs> Sorry, but that doesn't work either, does it? Fact is, it doesn't mean peace. Does not mean peace. If you thought it did, get a new thing going. How many Muslims? Let's put it up again. I'm just making sure it's still away. Put the other hand up. How do you feel now? Is it better? <laughs> Your deodorant failed you. Put it down. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Did you ever see a Muslim walk up to each other and say, Islam alaikum? <laughs> no. We say, Salam alaikum, don't we? So Islam doesn't mean peace. Get off of it. Wake up. I mean, you know, spend a little time with the Maori, the dictionary. Open it up and look. Islam is the surrender, submission, obedience, and sincerity, and peace with the law. First of all, you surrender your will to the will of Almighty God. Number two, you submit to His commandments. Number three, you obey them to the best of your ability. And then number four, you do it in sincerity and stop. Hold on. Don't move. Don't move. I see you moving over there, by the way. <laughs> Think. Sincerity. Did you not hear what Suhaib Webb was talking about? Can you force people into an intimate relationship, something where they're going to feel good about somebody. I want you to feel good about me. I mean, now, boy! <laughs> How can you change somebody's feelings? Can you? You can try all day long, but hey, if you doubt what I just said, go to the divorce court and watch. It ain't happening. Think. Sincerity. If I have to be sincere to do Islam, then Islam cannot be spread by any kind of force. Sword or AK-47, either one. Doesn't work. You can spread ideologies. You can spread civilizations, all kinds of concepts under force. But you can never force Islam. La ikraha fiddin. There is no compulsion in the way of Islam. Allah oh, said that in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 256. And then after that comes the word peace. And you have to be in peace with Allah. After you did the other four, be in peace with whatever comes to you. Because this life is a test for you. That's why we see the things happen in the world that we see today.